Hello friends, in today's lecture we are going to learn symmetry elements. Elements that shows the presence of symmetry within a molecule is known as symmetry element. Symmetry element is a geometrical entity. It may be axis, it may be point or it may be plane. Always remember, symmetry elements is a geometrical entity. Geometrical entity, it means it is related with the geometry of the molecule. It involves either axis, point or plane or combination of these three also. Therefore, first type of symmetry element is rotational axis of symmetry. This rotational axis of symmetry is labeled with the symbol CN. In this symbol, the C stands for cyclic and this N means number of times that symmetry element present within the molecule. This rotational axis of symmetry involves axis. Always remember this thing. Then second type of symmetry element is plane of symmetry. This plane of symmetry is labeled with the symbol sigma. This sigma exist in three forms. These three forms are vertical plane, dihedral plane and next one is mirror plane or horizontal plane. And always remember this plane of symmetry always exists in the form of plane. Therefore, it is known as plane of symmetry. Next point is improper axis of rotation. This improper axis of rotation is labeled with the symbol SN and always remember this axis is also known as rotation, reflection, axis. This rotation, it means it involves CN and this reflection, it means it involves plane of symmetry. Whenever this rotational axis is perpendicular to this horizontal plane then in such cases this improper axis of rotation is present it is known as rotation reflection axis or improper axis of rotation fourth symmetry element is inversion center or center of symmetry and the small letter i is used to represent this presence of inversion center or center of symmetry. It involves the point as a geometrical entity. Therefore, I write here point. Then last point is identity element. I write here identity and capital letter E is used to represent this element. In this way, there are five possibilities of presence of symmetry elements within a molecule. I am going to explain all these five concepts by using this model. If we consider the example of this water molecule, this oxygen, this is H1 and this is H2. If I rotate this molecule in the clockwise direction, then you get an equivalent structure. Because of rotation, it is known as rotational axis of symmetry and it is always represented with this letter C N. This C means cyclic rotation is there therefore it is known as C and this N represents number of times the molecule can be rotated. If this value is 1 it means you can rotate this molecule one time. If this number is 2 then you can rotate this molecule two times in order to get equivalent configuration. The next point is plane of symmetry. This plane of symmetry may be vertical, dihedral or mirror or horizontal plane of symmetry. If we consider the example of this water molecule, if I pass an imaginary plane in between this two hydrogen atoms and this plane includes oxygen atom, then such type of imaginary plane is known as plane of symmetry and it is of three types. Always remember this thing. In next lecture, we are going to learn in detail. The next point is improper axis of rotation. In this case, there is absence of improper axis of rotation. Therefore, I unable to explain in this case. In next lecture, I will going to explain 
this topic. The next point is inversion center. If we consider the example of PTCL4 molecule, then I write here the numbering for this chlorine atoms. In this way, I label all the chlorine atoms. And if I pass an imaginary plane in between these two similar atoms or in between these two similar atoms, here at the here, this is the point. This point is known as inversion center. And always remember. This line can be passed through similar atoms only. If there is a presence of different atoms, for example, if hydrogen is there and chlorine is there, there will be no possibility of presence of this inversion center. Next point is identity element. Always remember, every molecule has identity element. Whatever the molecule is given to you, it always shows the presence of identity element. Identity element means nothing to do on a molecule. Please note this point. Nothing to do on a molecule. It means if I consider the example of this water molecule, nothing to do on this molecule. It shows identity element. Thank you.